Salutations you bunch of wankers. It be me, Ginger, here with another tier list video. Today we're gonna be starting to rank the Hitman trilogy, starting with Hitman 2016, including all of the DLC. I will try and go in canonical order, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. So, since we're going chronologically, we may as well start with. I think just putting all of the tutorial missions in C tier is pretty reasonable if you ask me. If I had to choose a favorite it'd probably be the final test, because, well. But I think having him as a nice middle of the road on the tier list is pretty fair. But the icon is actually a really cool idea. It just sucks that a lot of the map is cut off and in that way it feels kinda restrictive. It's a decent enough map, but I feel like a bit more could have been done. And the fact that we can't equip the Icon Man suit remains a travesty to this day. I'd certainly rather have that being a future unlockable than that. So yeah, I think AC is justified here, but don't be surprised if I bump it up to AB when I get to the Hitman 2 levels. This is easily my favorite of the bonus missions. There's just a lot of ways you can approach this which I quite like. You can dress up as a priest and impale him on the church roof, or you can dress up as a lawyer. And stab him in the eye with a pen, or I mean you could just go with something simple like poisoning him, but yeah. I quite like this mission. It uses pretty much all of the first version of the map from the main campaign, except for the mansion, which means it's a lot more open-ended than when this map was used in the icon. I don't think it's worthy of an S tier, but certainly a high A. Probably my least favorite of the bonus mission maps if I'm honest. I'm just not a fan of this map, but I do prefer this version of the map compared to the Gilded Cage version, as this one is a bit smaller, but still feels incredibly crowded. Even so, there's a decent amount of memorable kills, such as the crystal ball, or raising the water level and dropping the lights on Kong. So even though I'm not a huge fan of the map itself, I do like how they reworked it for this mission. It's just not a map I play a whole lot probably because of how big it is. I don't think it's as bad as the icon, so I'll probably give it a B for now. Don't take these non-main campaign missions as the final verdict, because I'm really just messing around with these ones. If a certain tier gets too crowded, I'll move some of these around. I mean I had to put this up on S tier, it only makes sense. Even six years later, this map still holds up tremendously well. Just a well-designed map with a shit ton of opportunities and fun ways to do the mission. What a great introduction to the new reboot of the Hitman franchise and it created a very high standard for future maps to come later that year. I mean about half of the other maps were more misses than they were hits, but we'll get there in a few minutes. For now, I'm gonna stick this on an S tier. While I prefer this map over Paris, I'm probably gonna give it an A tier. Mainly because that destroy the virus objective has become incredibly tedious. Apart from that, I mean the map is pretty fucking good. I mean you can even call a woman to meet you in her room. Something that no Hitman player will ever be able to do in real life. You can also traumatize Silvio or maybe you wanna blow him the fuck up with an explosive golf ball because why not. This map is just always fun to play, but the virus objective is a real chore. Regardless, I think a very higher tier is deserved here might bump it up to an S in the future. Oh sweet Jesus, not Marrakesh. I really don't like this map. It's just too crowded and too big. If I was an actual good reviewer and if I had enough time to go real depth into each mission without making each one of these videos like an hour long, trust me I would. But I mean you can drop a toilet on Reza, which is one of my favorite kills in the entire trilogy. There are some fun moments, but I'd rather have smaller, more condensed maps or at least larger maps where every area is or can be significant, such as Paris. On this map, the main center acts a large stretch of fake NPCs sandwiched in between the two targets' locations. You can always get the two to meet, but that takes a good amount of time so you might as well just take them out individually. I'm comfortable giving it a C for now. Probably only slightly better than Marrakesh. I like the general idea, the targets are fun enough to kill. Especially with that kill on Jordan or how you can replicate how Jordan killed his girlfriend, or how you can perform a drum solo perfectly and lure him out to a ledge and chuck him over, or how you can smother him in a vegan cake. That's what you get for caring about animals, yar dick. Jordan is a pretty unique target with a lot of cool opportunities like this, 
but Ken is very underutilized. Aside from the aforementioned proxy kill, you can either lead him up to and kill him in his penthouse or poison his food, and set his tuktuk on fire and that's about it. Not to mention as well that, since they removed the secondary security box in the outside shed area, there's only one security box in the entire map, and it's secured behind a keycard slot. So if you get caught on camera, you're pretty much fucked. So yeah, just an alright map. A B for you. It kinda seems like IO was slipping a bit after Sapienza dropped for a bit. Speaking of slipping in terms of quality. Okay so it's not as bad as people say it is, but it's no masterpiece either. The actual premise is interesting, it's just a shame that if you mess up, you're pretty much dead. The fun thing about Hitman is experimenting with what you can do, and so if you have a witness at any given point, there'll likely be about 50 different guys closing in on your position as you try to desperately find a new change of clothes. There are some good kills here, if I'm being honest. The explosive watch, the hay bale, the lawnmower, the battering ram, the car lift. It's a shame that none of these involve Penelope Graves, who isn't a very interesting target to deal with. You can dump her in a slurry pit, poison her or drop a chandelier on her head, and that's about as flashy as you can make her death. I feel like if they removed her as a target and made the map a slight bit smaller, it could have actually been a pretty decent one. But since it has the highest amount of targets in the trilogy, besides Berlin, to take out with only about six-ish people total being unarmed can be a bit overwhelming. At least they have some fun easter eggs in this map, such as the Wicker Man or v rum, rum, rum. Ding, ding, ding. which make the pain of this map a little easier to bear with. AC it is, then. What a great way to end off the game. Situs Inversus, in my opinion, really puts the last few maps to shame. It's not the Japanese setting, because I'm not mentally ill, but rather the amount of ways you can take out your targets and how the level is designed. It's an interesting concept as to how you need certain disguises to gain access to certain rooms, or you can use your extensive knowledge to find new ways in, or bring in a keycard hacker, or even better, get one in the map itself. You can hack an AI to stab old sodas to death. If you're real ballsy, you can walk up to him in your suit, which is enough to put him into cardiac arrest and he just fucking dies. Or you could ignore him entirely and play Minesweeper. For Yuki, you can poison her with some deadly fish, or maybe you want to push her off a cliff whilst pretending to be a yoga instructor, you can even lock her in a sauna and let her get nice and toasty, or you could ignore her entirely and play Doki Doki Pow Pow. I just love this map, it's very fun. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy about which map is better between Hokkaido and Paris, and I wonder where that could have stemmed from. Literally like two people are gonna get what I just referenced but anyway I do think Paris is ever so slightly better. A very solid S tier. A decent enough introduction to the Patient Zero campaign, with some pretty memorable kills, and by that I mean like one. That being setting Nabazov on fire by sabotaging the thing with the fire. Guy was a dick anyway. Not a whole lot to say about this mission, so I'm just gonna give it a B for now and move to the next one. Yet another map on Sapienza. Guess they really wanted to milk this map for it it was worth, huh? This one's just okay. I mean being able to dress up as your targets is a pretty interesting idea. And the scream looking MF in the sewers and that opportunity is pretty fun. A decent enough map although not too memorable. A B here seems okay with me, for now at least. Just a pretty mediocre mission. I'm assuming this was the original basis for the sniper assassin maps. And we all know how they went, but we'll get to them once we reach Hitman 2, which will likely be sometime in the next century for sure, given my very consistent upload schedule. A lot of RNG, randomness, involved which really detracts from the fun of the mission, it's pretty cool to play the first time but pretty tedious afterwards. I usually just skip this mission if I'm playing the Patient Zero campaign, as I'm sure some other people do too. I respect the idea, but this just ain't it chief. Putting it in D, not necessarily bad, just not very good either. This is a pretty fun mission when you first play it, in my opinion. Going into a hospital and wiping out like half of the place since people are spreading around a virus is a pretty unique idea, especially for Hitman of all franchises. But then you realize if you want to get the silent assassin rating you basically just need to knock out the two guards at the entrance, knock out the woman at the staircase so that she won't catch the virus, and then just go in here, 
taking out the guy with the button control thing and just wait for the two targets to walk over and commence the human barbecue. M. Tasty. Anyway, A B seems fair if you ask me. Might lower it to A C in the future, but I don't think it's that bad. Are you fucking serious? We're still not done. Well fuck. Welcome to Ginger's super fun rapid fire go fun happy time map ranking. C. Decent but forgettable. A. Fun. Now leave me alone. Are we done? Oh thank god. I need a fucking drink. Catch you later. Like and subscribe and all that or I'll rip out your esophagus or whatever.